Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. Um, today in the chapel, we have Palms 27. Uh, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord, our God. Um, we'll get into that here in just a little bit. And yeah, okay, so it's not going to be a really long one. Um, in the basket, I still have my thing that and I st it's sitting here I still was working on it my shawl I am at 36 inches and it is going to be I think the end product is 64 so I've just not had a whole lot of time to work on that um I still have the little poncho I was working on it's exactly where I left it last week um I still have the big geo that I'm working on and it hasn't been touched um, on the wheel, I do have the gray um, yarn B fiber, and I am in the middle of Navajo plying it. I don't like the way it's working up. I probably will make something and then felt it, or just give it away. I don't know. I don't like it. So, I'm just saying, don't like it. And I already started Navajo plying it, so I'm not going to undo it. So, for those of you who don't know, Navajo ply is a way to take a single ply and, and you don't have to have more than one bobbin you just ply it and it makes a three ply so um i don't have anything in the pots nothing in the fields i put the strawberries in that thing let it rain on them and so far i haven't seen anything sprout i just bought some cheap ones they're like 5.99 for 10 of them so if they take they take i don't know um so no in the fields our biggest update is um rj's world in the farmhouse so coop had her surgery and let's just back up star is doing amazing she if you remember back i don't know three weeks ago maybe she cut her leg open and um it is now healed uh she's doing good rj's back taking her to some ropens um she's not 100 percent so um rj is getting her there but at rodeos him and another gentleman he's been borrowing uh glenn i don't know if you've heard me talk about glenn but glenn's a good guy um he is one of the few on the rodeo circuit that know has my phone number and he knows all of rj's breathing history and his medical stuff and he knows to call me first um so yeah um Anyway, Glenn is letting him use his horse at the circuit rodeos because Star isn't good enough, and Coop had her surgery. Now, I prayed for steady hands the entire time, and I think it came out okay. Um, so, she went in for her surgery. They did it standing up. I didn't like an anesthetic, so I wanted it done st standing up if at all possible. Um, he took out the mass, and there it was bigger than what he thought, and there was more capillaries that were holding on the little fingers that I talked about. Um, so he had to take a pretty good-sized chunk of skin that he could not get it untangled from. So he put in a drain tube and to keep it draining he perforated the skin and loosened the skin around the wound and then he perforated it making lots of little holes so that it would stretch then he stretched it around the drain tube and stitched it up and um it has been right at one week now since uh, she had the surgery and it's holding the biggest problem was is that if she um if it didn't hold then it would prolong the healing time and uh if it didn't hold everything was going to rot away they'd have to go in cut it away clean it up and then we would have to do the water drenches and we've done that in the past when she had a wound um so uh she sliced her leg had to go to the vet and then we had to water it um last time so 
but it would prolong the healing time. As of today, this morning, I called and checked on RJ and everything, and he said it looked really good. So the key to, to this is to keep the ointment on it and keep it pliable so that it will actually heal over and heal, you know, or stretch over and heal. Um, one week from today, she'll go back and have the vet look at it, possibly take the drain tube out, remove the stitches, um, if everything looks good. So we'll know something more in the week. But we sent the mass off to get it biopsied, find out what it is. We sent it to K-State. We got the results back. Um, matter of fact, we were notified this morning. It is a fungus. Um, it's some kind of fungal infection in her tissue. Um, it was addressed the best way possible. Uh, it just kind of confirmed everything. But, yeah, there's always that but. The vet that did it said he accidentally nicked one of the capillaries. So he didn't think it was too big a deal at this, the time, but they flushed it out and everything. He's like, oh no, I got, you know, I nicked it. So they flushed it out real good and put antibiotics and all this stuff. There is a small little chance, and that's why I was praying for steady hands, okay? There is a very slim chance that she could have a small bump um, develop over time and it actually grow back. But again, it's a very small chance because he only nicked one capillary and he just wanted us to be aware. There's also a chance that by the grace of God, he healed it all. But unfortunately, I'm not going to know whether he did. I'm just going to trust that he did. So, I'm trusting that God healed it and that it's not going to grow back and that, you know, with everybody sending their mojo and healing powers to uh, Coop and saying their extra prayers, that she's going to be fine. So, that is um, kind of an update on her. She's doing really good. She really is. For everything that that horse has been through, she's doing really good. We got an update on Ice and Henry, and they're doing amazing. So, yeah. Um, everything else that I have been doing is sanding the walls. I've gotten one and a half to two walls totally mudded and sanded. Um, and then we put up some paint colors in corners so that we can see how it's going to look. I think we've about decided a light gray is the way to go. Um, the cream color that roommate wanted kind of looks dingy now that you get it put on the wall and how dingy the ceiling is and all that. So yeah, we're not real sure that we're going to use that one, but the, the light gray really looks good. But honestly, guys, that and then work has been kind of hectic because we've had people out with dental uh, surgeries. We had one out with a family vacation. We just, I, yesterday was my only day off and I have to go in here in a little bit. So yeah, <laughs> it's one of those weeks. So I haven't had a lot of time to do a whole lot, but I did want to pop on here, update you on Coop and just let you know that I haven't forgotten anybody. Oh, all the mail went out too. So if you want a prize, um, yeah. And I don't know what the prize is going to be yet, but if you're a spinner, be thinking about how you like to ply. I'm going to um, find some something of a spinning fiber, and it will be probably posted next week. I'll find something by next week. I just need to get it done. Um, other than that, it's just been... It, stupid stuff like that you know just a, a continuation of last week and our biggest concern of course is coop my job is going okay other than just being busy and covering a lot of people's shifts that normally don't have to be covered uh been working a lot 
Um, oh, there is one other thing. And that is, um, y'all know that I used to work in home health care. And I took care of Krista. And I went through channels and we got... Um, I talked yesterday to her case manager and we've been working to get visitation with her. Um, she used to come out here and eat dinner with us once a week. Well, I got that back for every other week. So she gets to come and she, she calls roommate gum and I don't, so anyway, roommate and I are very ecstatic about that because we get to see her again and talk and, and um, if you remember the holidays, she spent the night here with us and hung out with us and we all made cookies and we just had a blast. And so Krista gets to come back out. Um, I get her every other Tuesday in the afternoon and then I get her on all holidays. So, um, unless her guardian comes back and her guardian's in on this. So it's not like her guardian lives in Michigan and she lives here. So, you know. She can't really visit her on holidays and stuff. So I get her all of her holidays and stuff. Michelle and I are friends, which helps. Okay, so when you're friends with the guardian, it's, it kind of, but it was a long drawn. It's taken us about four weeks just to get this approved. Um, because I work for BIOS, I don't have to provide a background check and fingerprints because I've already done that. They should have them on file for my personnel file. Uh, but roommate has to go to the sheriff's department in Claremore and get theirs done. They have to have fingerprints and a little background check done. So, um, yeah. And once that's done, she can spend the night, but she can always come in here, come here and eat with us. And so, um, roommate's mom knows her too. And so she come by when we were doing cookies and all that stuff and so sorry I'm not liking this right here I don't like it to show so <laughs> anyway I'm pretty much done I know it's short and sweet but I did want to update you on coop that is you know we're changing dressings every day we are putting ointment on it every day uh, it's being packed back every day it seems to be real pliable and it seems to be going to good with the healing process. So, yeah. The only thing is, is that there's that little possibility because he did. And at least the vet was honest with us. I mean, he didn't have to say, hey, you know, I nicked one of the capillaries so it could come back. But he did. He let us know. And he says, if it comes back, it will be a very small little bump. So, um, that's a good thing especially if it's not going to hurt her that it had gotten so big that it was hurting her so all right i think other than that that is really all that's been going on i know it's not very fibery but i know that people have been facebooking me and and um emailing me and wanting a coop update so there it is and i will hopefully have more um fiber fun next week when I get back to my regular schedule. So I will talk to y'all later. Have a good one. Bye.